Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're fixing the hyper flash on the Jeep. So I got the switchback bulbs installed and the LED bulbs. But since they're LED, they don't have resistance. It causes the lights to hyper flash. So you can buy bulbs that have the load resistor already in it. But I just got regular LED bulbs. So what we're going to do today is we're installing these. So what these do is they connect to the positive and negative wires. So they act like if the car had a regular bulb. That way the lights blink normally and not super fast how they're doing it right now. Today I'm actually in Boosted Motorsport Garage, as you can see. So on his channel, he has a, a Dakota build going on right now. But he also built Supercar Suspect S2K, the one that fell off the lift. And you guys should go check that out. So if you saw my previous video when I installed these LED lights, you're gonna know that there is one bolt that holds this on and it's a seven millimeter. Just go ahead and remove that. And then the next step would be to just pull the housing off. It's kind of hard, but you just gotta put some force into it. Jesus. All right, so Booster right here, he's making fun of me because I just pulled on the headlight. He's saying to use one of these and pull it off. He's a big guy. So if, if you don't have enough strength, you can use one of these. Just stick it in there. That's it. If you don't have enough strength. <laughs> so let me show you how to install those load resistors now. So now you got your headlight out. Um, you obviously know this is the, the turn signal. So you're gonna take that off just to make it easier to work with. And on here, you're gonna have three wires. So one is green, which is the ground. You have one with a, a black wire with the purple stripe, which is the running light. And then you just have a black wire. So what you're gonna do is tap in the green and the black wire with the, the load resistor right here. So one of the ends goes to the green wire and one goes to the black wire. And the way to attach those is you use some of these connectors. So these connectors, when uh, you put the wires in, so you put one, one end from the load resistor in and then you put the other end on the wire itself crimp it down together and that'll make a splice for you it might be a little bit hard to get the wire in so you might need to open it a little bit so then i'm going to take take the green end and also instead of doing all this adding the load resistor and all that you can also get a, a flasher but it was 60 dollars for this car and i did not want to spend that so i got these load resistors from flyright and i'll have everything linked down below in the description if you guys want to get these same ones. So I have the bulb here, so I have the green wire. I'm just gonna take one end of the load resistor, put it in there, and then we're gonna crimp it. All the booster's tools are back home, so he doesn't have anything here, so I have to use these. And then you just close that little clamp right there. So you take the other end and do the same thing with the black wire, the one without the stripe. Make sure the wire doesn't slide out when you're trying to do this. Okay, so this is what it'll look like. So one on the black wire, one on the green one, and you'll have this orange piece just hanging. So let's go ahead and test it out. And now it's back to white. All right, cool, so that worked. Now I just gotta do the other side and we'll be good to go. I love how that looks, how it goes back and forth. When I did this side, I didn't have any more T10 bulb uh, in amber, and Flyright hooked it up with some of these, so I'm gonna throw them in right now. Make sure you push them down all the way. You see how bright those are? Those are sick. So that's all you need to do to fix your hyper flash. As you can see, it's working well, and it's bouncing back and forth, so that's pretty cool. And the other side has the white light. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. I have everything linked in the description. So if you want to pick the same setup, it'll be down below. Thanks for watching.